Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, recording, recording. Brennan Class Twitter. Someone's looking for my news. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brennan Kloss, thank you for being here. So, I haven't filmed a video in a long time. I'm a little out of practice. So, I had seen on TikTok Carolyn from the newest season of Survivor that's currently airing. I'm recording this like two days before the finale episode and I'm a huge Carolyn fan. And she just followed me back on Instagram. I freaked out. So I saw that she did, what did she call it? Answering the web's most searched questions about me. So I found the search engine that she used. I have pulled up here. I have my laptop open. So I thought I would go down the list and react, answer the web's most searched questions about me. I love watching actors do these interviews whenever they do like a press circuit, but the projects that I'm working on right now are still a secret. So <laughs> I'm not currently doing any press, but I thought, you know what, let's pretend for my YouTube channel. Why not? So I'm going to search, let's just do my name to start. Okay. Well, I'm not going to pay for the pro version of this because your boy's on a budget. First thing that searched, Brennan Klost, my name. We love it. Brennan Klost movies and TV shows. Yes. I don't know. That's not really a question, but yeah, I work as an actor in um, movies and TV shows. I actually remember at university in my last year of school, if you're new to my channel, I went to Juilliard for dance. Actually, I'm wearing my Juilliard lanyard right now because I needed something to clip my mic to. I went to Juilliard for dance and I was, I think, the only one in my graduating class of dancers out of the 23 of us that did not audition for any dance companies. And that's really what the school, like, gears you for is a career as like a contemporary ballet company dancer and so i had these two classmates who i will not name but they i don't know why they were so like on my case but they were really like well what do you mean you're not gonna audition for any dance companies like you're gonna you're oh this is what they said they said you are never gonna be in this kind of dancer shape ever again. This is the only time you will ever be a Juilliard fourth year dancer. You are never gonna be in shape in the way that we are right now. Like, what are you even gonna do in film and TV? And I was like, well, I'm gonna do films and I'm gonna do TV shows. Like it's in the name. Anyways, um, I then graduated Juilliard and have continued to have a great film and TV career. So fuck those guys. Fuck the haters. Right? Right. Moving on. <laughs> Off to a great start. Just me being such a bitch. Anyways. Brittany Raymond and Brennan Klost. Brittany Raymond and I were on a show together. Actually, Brittany Raymond and I, Brit and I have been best friends for a really long time. <laughs> I was like going to do the math, but we're, we've pretty much been friends for over half our lives. Britt and I met dancing together at a competitive dance studio in high school and then we were co-stars on a show called The Next Step together. So I'm assuming someone's probably searching Brittany Raymond and Brennan Class because they're looking up something from The Next Step or in the pandemic Britt and I actually made a web series called Australian Airs together that I'm very proud of. Our parents are dead and now we're rich. Maybe I'll link it below if you're curious. It's sort of like sketch comedy, very over the top, a little absurdist, um, very fun. We just had a lot of fun. It was kind of like improv based. We wrote the episodes, play all the characters, edited the episodes and like self-produced the entire web series. And we're now developing it to try and pitch it as like a proper half hour comedy. So anyways, if you're curious, as someone must have been, Brittany Raymond and Brennan Klost, you could watch our web series, Australian Airs. Um, and we do a lot of like collabs on each other's YouTube channels. So I'll have her on, on the channel again soon. Brennan Klaus age. I'm 28 years old the day that I am filming this video. How old is Brennan Klaus? 28 years old. My birthday is October 20th, 1994. I'm a Libra sun, Taurus moon, and a Gemini rising. Brennan Klaus dance. Brennan Klaus started dancing at the age of seven and now is 28 years old. So Brennan Klaus has danced 
for over 21 years. That's insane. Brennan Klaus movies. First movie I ever did. Well, actually, first movie I ever did, I was like 12 years old. It, I'm not, I don't know if I'm even credited in the movie. Before I had an agent, before I actually was like working in film or TV. And I got it as, I, I played like a, a camper and a dancer in the movie called The King of the Camp. King of the Camp? The King of the Camp. King of the Camp on YTV and Nickelodeon. Um, it was super fun. I got to basically like go and live at a camp for a weekend and film a couple of scenes in this movie. It's really fun. Okay, voiceover Brennan here. I'm editing. You'll see I'm coming up in the next few shots wearing brown and white. There I am playing air guitar, dancing right in the center there. Oh my God, this is so funny. I have such good memories from making this movie. I can't believe I found the trailer. Brennan Klaus net worth. I don't know on a budget right now. Um, <laughs> Juilliard took all my money. So I don't know what you want me to say. Brennan Klaus YouTube. Well, you're on my YouTube right now if you're watching this video. Hopefully, are we having fun? <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Are you having fun? Okay. Brennan Claus siblings. I have one sibling. This is his hoodie, actually. My brother's name is Trevor. He is two and a half, three-ish years younger than me. And we are very different. I love him so much. He's one of my best friends. And I, yeah, I'm so grateful for my brother. Actually, I just recorded a podcast episode for my brother. He's creating a podcast. I am the pilot episode, an interview with me. And in it, he asked me that on my IMDb, the biography that's written on my IMDb doesn't include my brother. It talks about both my parents. I think it even talks about Pippa and Lancelot, who are my cats. And it nowhere says that I have any siblings. So he was like, is there beef? What's going on? I was like, I don't think I even wrote that. Brennan Claus, Instagram. I'm, I've been in my active era on Instagram recently, but there's, I go through phases with Instagram. I feel like we all do where I'm like, Ooh, I have so many good photos to post, 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 post. And then I'm like, my life is boring. I have nothing to share. I'm bored. And I, I'm a ghost on the internet for a while. So right now I'm in my active era on Instagram. So if you want to follow me, I was going to say subscribe. If you want to subscribe to my Instagram, it's like below. Brennan Kloss and Kiernan Shipka. And then there's Brennan Kloss, Kiernan Shipka lookalike. Have you guys seen that Netflix show, Pretty Little Things? This guy looks like her. Don't they look similar? I literally saw this and I was like, Sabrina Spellman. I'm probably not the first person to point this out, but they just look similar. Crazy. I, I totally see it. People thought Kieran and Shipka and I were like long lost siblings. And so I tweeted her being like, at Kiernan, like, let's play siblings and something. I forget what I said. Let me find the tweet, actually. So I tweeted Kiernan something along the lines of like, long lost sister, question mark. And she responded and was like, oh my God, Brennan is my middle name. And I was like, you're kidding. So I just looked it up and it, her name, her legal name is Kiernan Brennan Shipka. So I would go bleach blonde again and absolutely would love to play her sibling in something. That could be so cool. But yeah, I saw like all these TikTok edits of like Kiernan, um, myself, McKenna Grace and Charlie Gillespie, who Charlie is one of my really good friends. Um, so it's just funny them being like, are these, are they all related? How do they all look so alike? Brennan Kloss, The Next Step. My first like big break was The Next Step. Sorry, if you can hear my cats in the background, they're like wrestling back there right now. Oh, you're here. Hi, come say hi. Jump up. Hello, come say hi. Come here, you. Come here, you. Let go of that. Come here, say hello. This is Lancelot. Hi, Lance, say hello. You wanna sit with me while we do some questions? What do you think? You're so cute. Love ya. Okay, bye. You wanna sit there? Okay. Oh, and now I'm covered in cat hair. Well, it's worth it. The next step was my first ever TV show. It was a huge hit. He says humbly. And <laughs> I'm still very proud of it. It was like a big part of my life. It got me started as an actor. I'm very grateful for that opportunity. Where does Brennan Kloss live? Well, <laughs> Brennan Kloss Gillette. So my first ever, the, actually the way that I got into the actors union here in Canada 
was by booking a Gillette commercial, which was hilarious because now I can grow a little bit of facial hair, but at the time I was 17 and in the audition, the audition was so weird. Commercial auditions are so weird. But at the end of the audition, when I was leaving the room, they were like, wait, sorry, uh, can you grow a beard? And I was like, yeah, totally. And they were like, oh, okay, like, and a mustache, like every, I was like, everything, yeah. <laughs> lie, flat out lie. I like could barely grow a little mustache, like a little, you know, peach fuzz, dark peach fuzz is all I really had at 17. Anyways. So they ended up drawing it on, like the makeup artist for that commercial, like drew it on my face. And like, I think they even in CGI, like added a little bit extra. And even still the comments on, it got posted on YouTube. It was like a international commercial. I think my commercial aired in North America, Latin America, Europe, Australia, and somewhere else. The comments when it got posted on YouTube on like the Gillette YouTube, cause it was titled if you want to look it up, it's still up. It has like millions of views, which is hilarious, but it's called, um, Gillette. If you just search Gillette, how to shave, I think it comes up. Let me see. What's it actually called? Okay. Yes. It's called how to shave shaving tips for men and the comments. Do they have the comments on still? Or are they turned off? Oh, they still have the comments on. Um, and the few comments that I see at the top seem pretty nice. But I remember in high school, this came out and my calculus professor like pulled it up one day in class and read the comments out because he thought it was funny. And the comments were like ripping on me being like this little kid. Why would you pick this kid? He can't even shave, blah, blah, blah. I grew more facial hair when I was a toddler. Like people were just ripping on me. I mean, I didn't take it personally, obviously. Like I knew I'm like, yeah, I don't have any facial hair on my face. It's like, haha, funny. Joke's on you, whatever. I made a lot of money doing the commercial and it got me into the union so that I'm now like a full ACTRA union member. It was, it was great. Brennan Jared Klost is my full legal name. Jared is also my alter ego. Whenever I get a little intoxicated, my friends have a code amongst all of us because I have a, like, I have a bit of a bitchy, a bit of a mean sense of humor sometimes that usually everyone loves, but sometimes when I own oh, Fox Crater, it like goes over, it goes a little too much. <laughs> it's a little too mean, a little too honest. So if it ever becomes that, my friends know the code, they just say, okay, Jared. And I'm like, gotcha, rein it in. Brennan Kloss, Netflix, and a little bit below, Tiny Pretty Things, Brennan Kloss. So yes, I play Shane on Tiny Pretty Things, which is a Netflix original series. It came out, in 2020, the end of 2020. Yeah, it was a hit. It did great. It unfortunately did not get renewed. I was very heartbroken about it. I shaved my head, not a good look. And I'm still very close with the entire lead cast. And they're some of my best friends still to this day. It was a huge part of my life. I think forever it will be a huge heartbreak of my career that it didn't, we didn't get to do more seasons because I truly loved that character the show, the cast, the crew, everything about it. Brennan Kloss, Twitter. Someone's looking for my nudes. Or you're just looking up if I have a Twitter. <laughs> I do have Twitter. I don't really use it. I kind of used it a little bit when like Tiny Pretty Things came out. I was trying to like, you know, post and be like, whatever. It was the pandemic. I was bored. I was home. I was like on social media all the time. Brennan Kloss, BF. Brennan Jared Kloss, boyfriend. Brennan Klost couple. I don't know how much I want to share on the internet currently. I am in a very fulfilling relationship. Um, ah, I'm getting all like giddy. Am I going to talk about this? Mm, I think I'm going to keep it private for a little while longer, but I am in a really happy relationship. So yeah, I have a boyfriend. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really excited and really motivated to get creating on YouTube again. It's been something I've been thinking a lot about the last few months and I'm finally activating on that goal. So please subscribe, hit that bell notification. I will be posting every single Saturday, Catterday. Felt like the right, felt like the right choice. Okay. Um, I'm actually a little surprised. Nothing on here was like Brennan Claus cats because for the amount of press that I've done and talked about my cats, the amount of like 
I have a whole dedicated Instagram to my cats. So I'm a, that's the one thing I'm surprised about not being on here, to be honest with you. All right, see ya. Bye.